Hi, this is Kanavabu. This is part 20 of the travel bus project. In the last class we discussed about admin will add the bus destination points. So in this session we will discuss about admin will add the fare destination. So here your screen will look like this. Here for example, let us consider that a bus is traveling. Let us assume there is a bus that is SV underscore 1. This SV underscore 1 bus is actually traveling from Hyderabad to Vizag. Now, these are all the destination points of the bus. So, the customers can take the ticket from Hyderabad to Vijayawada or Hyderabad to Rajamandri or Hyderabad to Thuni or Hyderabad to Annavaram or Hyderabad to Vizag. Or, the customers can take the ticket from Vijayawada to Rajamandri, Vijayawada to Thuni, Vijayawada to Annavaram, Vijayawada to Vizag. Or Rajamandri to Thuni, Rajamandri to Annavaram, Rajamandri to Vizag. Or Annavaram to Vizag. Then only the, they can do more business. For example, if the, uh, let us assume that if the bus is traveling from Hyderabad to uh, Vijayawada, the fare is 600 rupees. Similarly, Hyderabad to Rajamandri, the fare is 700 rupees. And uh, Hyderabad to Tuni, the fare is uh, 800 rupees. When the distance is increasing, the fare will also increase. Hyderabad to Annavaram, the fare is 900 rupees. And here, Hyderabad to Vizag, the fare is uh, 1000 rupees. And um, Vijayawada to Rajamandri, the fare is um, 400 rupees. Vijayawada to Tuni, fare is uh, 500 rupees. Vijayawada to Vizag, the fare is uh, 600 rupees. I hope you understood. So then only the bus can do some more business. Is it clear? So now in my screen, I have designed the screen in such a manner that um, here you can see select service number and now the admin is adding the destination points. Right, like uh, select the service number. For example, admin is selecting the service number is SV underscore 1. Select from place. For example, from place is Hyderabad. Two places, uh, Vijayawada. Starting time. The bus is at Hyderabad. The bus is starting at a particular time. And uh, the bus is going to what? Vijayawada. Hyderabad to Vijayawada. Or Hyderabad to Vijayawada first. Reach time. Fair. And again, Hyderabad to uh, Rajamandri. Fair. Hyderabad to Vizag. Fair. Vijayawada to Rajamandri. Fair. Like that. So, we need to store all the details in this fair destination table. In our fair destination table, we are having the columns like service number, FDID, from destination ID, from departure time, to destination ID, to departure time and fair. So, here within the master page, select the menu control, edit ellipse button, edit menu items, go to the destination points. Here, I will add the child item. Within this destination point, I will add the child item. The text will give us add fair destination. Add fair destination. Click on OK. I will add one more item here. Now, I will try to go to the project. Uh, add new item. Select a web form with the master page. And the name I will give as add fair destination. Add fair destination dot aspx. Click on OK. So, you have to make the things faster, I will design this screen. So, this is the design of this screen. So, here I need to bind the service number. Already in the last uh, last video, we discussed about how to bind the service number within the uh, drop down list one. In add bus destination points dot aspx, there you can see the code that is already available. So, again, I will not write the code, I will simply copy paste the code. Private void bind sv number. So, here right click view code and uh, here i will paste the method here you see business logic layer uh, creating an object and uh, here we are calling the method that is bind service number the written type of the method is sql data reader i hope you understood this one if you want you can watch part 19 of travel based project so here i will write if is post back is equals to false then call the method bind sv number is it clear and initially i will try to go to the uh, master page 
and within this master page select the menu control ellipse button edit menu items and here you select uh, add fair destination navigate url and here you can give uh, add fair destination dot aspx is it clear here if you want you can give in capital letters add fair destination right okay debug and check the output once here you say displayed all the service numbers in drop down list one now here the important point is select from place actually we will think that from place is uh, from bus table in the bus table you have uh, from place to place actually this bus is traveling from hyderabad to vizag this is the uh, original starting point and this is the final destination point but actually sv1 bus the customer can book the ticket from hyderabad to vizag or hyderabad to vijayawada one customer wants to book the ticket from hyderabad to rajamandri another customer from uh, vijayawada to uh, rajamandri or vijayawada to vizag in that case these are not the uh, from places and to places right so actually here we need to display the from place is nothing but what destination point so right click edit top 200 rows here you open the destination table here you see there you can these all are nothing but what from places now you have so here actually whenever you select the service number in the drop down list one then display the destination points of sv1 in drop down list two and drop down list three so actually in our database we have one table called bus destination table right click edit top 200 rows these all are the destination points of what sv1 similarly these are all the destination points of what sv2 only that destination points i have to display in my drop down list so here let us consider there are three tables are available bus table destination table and bus destination table so if i ask you to write a query to display the destination points of destination points of sv underscore one how you will search the output first of all you will go to bus destination table and there you will catch all the dids of sv underscore one so the destination ids of sv underscore one are did one two three four five six now go to destination table we will catch the d name of DID underscore one that is Hyderabad, Vijayawada, Rajamandri, Tuni, Annamalai, and Vizag. So now, in order to retrieve the data from more than one table, we have to use the concept of joins. Joins are generally used to retrieve the data from more than one table. But whenever you are working with joins, you have to follow one rule that is a common column that exists between both the tables. So here, I will try to give the alias names uh, for all the tables for bus table B, for destination table D, for bus destination table BD. Now whatever the records you want you can ask select d dot d name from destination from destination d inner join inner join uh, bus sorry inner join bus destination yes inner join bus destination bd on what is the common column in both the tables d dot did is equals to bd dot did again inner join with bus b on um, bd dot sv number is equals to b dot sv number where b dot sv number is equals to sv underscore sorry uh, yeah sv underscore one this is your join query is it clear then you will get all the destination points of sv underscore one I hope you understand. Here you see, I execute the query. What the all the destination points belongs to what? Sv underscore one k. Now if I write sv underscore two, all the destination points belongs to sv underscore two k. So I want to keep this query within the procedure. So here I will write create procedure. Proc underscore bind uh, d points. Based on SV number, is it clear? And here I will write as begin block, and here I will write end block, and here I want to pass the input parameter as SV number. So the right SV number, data type I will mention as varchar of fifty, and here I will write uh, at the rate SV number. I hope you understood. Now here go to the data access layer and write one method here. So initially I will declare one region. 
hash region the name of the region i'll give as bind d points bind d points based on service number is it clear to make the things first i'll generate the code so i create the connection open the connection pass the procedure mention that we are working with stored procedure and uh, store the result of that uh, query in the data set and return the data set build the solution now here go to the business logic layer and write the code here within the business logic layer i have written the code and build build the solution now go to your uh, presentation layer that is uh, add fair destination dot aspx and right click view code and here i want to declare one method something like private void bind d points bind d points based on sv number based on sv number bracket of so here i have automatically written the code first i am creating an object for business objects and i am selecting whenever i am selecting the item in the drop down list one then i need to catch that value in the um store the value in the string variable and i want to split the value and finally i want to catch the service number and uh, now i am i am calling the um, uh, bind d points based on service number method in business logic layer at the time of calling the method i am passing the obj bo and here we are intimating data source is equals to ds data bind so now i will call this method in where now here i will try to double click on drop down list one when i select the item in the drop down list then i want to call this method which method bind d points based on service number so here i will call the method is it clear and uh, whenever user selects the item in the drop down list then uh, um, the request must go to the server for that i need to keep the property called auto post back is equals to true by default auto post back is false press f5 and check the output so just here i'm add within the data access layer i'm adding the parameters cmd dot parameters dot add with value because we need to pass the service number as the input parameter for our stored procedure so here I'm, i need to pass the parameters at the rate sv number comma obj bo dot service number right now debug and check the output so here i want to do a small modification the stored procedure select d dot did comma d dot d name i want to display the uh, did also why i will tell in future so here you see within my d points here i will use the property data value field is equals to d name and similarly drop down list uh, uh, three i want to display the same d points in where drop down list three also so drop down list three dot data source is equals ds drop down list three dot uh data value field and data bind method press f5 and check the out see here whenever user selects the service number then uh, it is displaying all the values now presentation layer is interacting with business logic layer business logic layer is interacting with data access layer and data access layer will fill the data in data set here you see all the destination points of sv underscore one came along with the did and d name right and the data access layer will again send the result back to business logic layer business logic layer will send the result back to presentation layer and we are displaying the data value field in drop down list 2 here you see now admin is adding the fare details for example the bus traveling from hyderabad to vijayawada start time at hyderabad the bus will start at uh, something like 6 pm uh, 6 pm and it will reach to vijayawada at around uh, uh, 4 am in the morning or some 4 am in the morning and the fare is 600 rupees click on what add button similarly he will add the details for vijayawada to rajamandri fare how much 700 at uh, hyderabad starting point is 6 and rajamandri 6 am something like that anyway for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel in the next video we will i will complete the fare destination screen thank you have a nice day